Hello and welcome to TAP. It's a YouTube channel about mobile gaming. Mobile channel? A YouTube channel about mobile gaming. Do you like mobile gaming? <laughs> hey, welcome to TAP. <laughs> okay, so today we have a game that's very close to my heart. It's called Alpha Bear. And you may be thinking, Simon, how did I get to this video? <laughs> what am I doing? I wanted to see dwarves, and I'm like, I'm sorry, you got bears mm -hmm. instead, mate. So, this is a very simple game in which you have to form words out of letters. Uh, the numbers there by the letters um, indicate how long those letters are around for, and after that many turns, they turn to stone, and it all goes horribly wrong and it gets much difficulter from there. So, first off, hail is a good word. As you can see, the little bear is delighted with that one. Um, and that he's gotten bigger. So you've got a big old bear there. Now what I like to do is, when I play this game, I try to make as many rude words as possible. Um, so for example, I've got, um, got that, which is a rude word. Um, oh, I can also have um, pains. It's not that rude. Chaps. Chaps. You may be thinking, why is chaps rude, Simon? Assless leather chaps. That's what's rude. I think, are all chaps assless? I don't know. I'll go to Google Image Search after the video and I'll check. Um, so the problem now, rocks happen. Don't sweat it, it's no big deal. Yeah, just keep him out of the center. As long as they're around the edge. You see that, that big bear there? Oh, he's lovely and big. I didn't know that it did that when you clicked there. And I'm supposed to uh, be the one that's familiar with this game and explaining it. Ding, dingle, dip, dip. Dip isn't rude, is it? <laughs> Java. Java's not. J. Jism. No, there isn't a. Um, it's a good job there isn't a, a time limit on this. You know, you don't have to rush. There's no. There's no hurry. Just take your time. That's what I like to do. I've gone a bit Steve Brawl. <laughs> Prick. Prit. No, it sounds a bit like prick. Drip. Okay, we'll go with drip, sure. Because we've got to pick something. Crap. Oh, there isn't a P now. I've used it. God damn it. Kaka. Yay, kaka. That works. Trot. Trot's a rude word. I don't think it is actually, is it? Chris Trot's very rude, but I'm not sure that counts. Dave! Oh, no. I met a man called Dave and he was very rude. He bumped into me and spilled my drink. Now, what are you, what are you doing? That's what I said to him. So, where are you going there? Hey! He said, so's mate. I'd like to get a, a, a new milk. <laughs> a new glass of milk. I'm like too intolerant. I don't know why I ordered milk. <laughs> He's doing me a favour actually by spilling it. And you know what they say? There's no starting a fight over spilled mi milk. Milk. <laughs> don't cause a fight over spilled milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I did actually go to the dentist earlier today. That's probably it. Oh my god. I did under the sheet. No, that's the barbers. <laughs> okay, let's go with uh, Raver. Sure. And uh, Toad. Toad. Toad isn't terribly rude, is it? 
Stick it up your arse. Joe is a word. I know that from my Scrabble days. Yeah. A lot of young lads, you know, they'd be out in the pub, playing pool, swimming in pools, driving in a carpool, reading Deadpool. Me, I'd be playing Scrabble. Jo, she is short for Joanne. <laughs> Joanne Castle, I went to school with. I got into trouble for painting um, red paint on her, on her uniform, because she was Scottish and she annoyed me. <laughs> Sorry, Joanne. You put you put red paint on someone when you want to shame them for infidelities. We were only eleven at the time. <laughs> Maybe. <you're laughs> Okay, I get a bonus bear here. I get a rare Pepe. No, that's a frog. So I got a ballet bear. So, oh, um, she sent me a message. She sent me a Polaroid with a lovely message. Um, you and I drip because we love the hail. Is that so anal? You, my friend, Oh, absolutely anal. Worship the great anal hero. Glory be to her. My hail and your raver made a delightful combination. I like this. This is good. Ugh. So this is the reason why you try and put as many rude words um, into each puzzle as possible because this is the reward at the end so long as you get the amount of points that's the goal you're rewarded um, with with this anal hail does a bear drip in the woods <laughs> and I can share it on social media <laughs> now that's that's a good one I'm an anal bear the kind that drip I like doing it <laughs> That's disgusting. I love it. Thank you, Easy Bear. <laughs> the fact that she's called Easy Bear just makes it even better. Thanks, Easy Bear. It's easy Bear. So I just gotta get 800 points. That's piss easy. Right, seven. That's not a rude word. But you gotta start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Seven boobs is quite rude. That's a lot of boobs. Uh, Belle. Oh, we just need a D. We just needed a D. Oh, we got, um... Willy. <laughs> Willy. Uh, it doesn't like that either. Oh, that'll do. Phil. I think Phil's got a lot of potential in terms of rude words. You can fill a hole. And now this is good because I've got ING here. So, um, so we can have uh, forking, with <laughs> forking, for example. I don't think that's a. Is it a word? It says it's a word. So, uh, norking, nurking, furking, lorking. What do you reckon? Forking. You reckon forking? I'll go with forking. Okay, I should just start with what, you know, the first, full of, follow my heart. Follow my heart to a hernia. <laughs> <laughs> hen, hen, no. A lot of E's, that's the problem. My only vowel there is E. Leah. I think it might have to do. Leer. I only needed uh, 800 points with, you know, I'm miles ahead here. Horn. I've got to go for the rude one. I could have gone for like Hornet if I wanted to, but Hornet isn't rude, is it? Teen. God, that's just asking for trouble. And her. There we go. Look at that big easy bear there. She loves it. As you can see, miles ahead there. Miles ahead. 
I am a professional alpha bearer. Let's see what Doggy Bear's got to say. This bell is totally delicious. Fill it right. Disgusting. Doggy Bear. Oh, for goodness sake. That is just vile, vile filth. Women, it's what's for dinner. Doggy Bear. I'm obsessed with women. That's not teen, is it? Doggy Bear. I feel so that someday we can afford a hernia of our own. So I said to her, is that a forking? Ten minutes later, our boat had sunk. My superhero name is Teen Horn. Tell me more about Teen Horn. Teen Horn is, he got bit by a radioactive rhino. And so now he has the power of a rhino horn, but the rhino bit him on his pernus. So now instead of a normal man pernus, he has a rhino horn that grows there. I mean, you may think, you know, you'd notice a guy walking around, you know, with a rhino horn, but what he does is he puts a pair of glasses on it. So people were just like, oh, nothing strange about that. How does it disclose the top half of his body? It's just a normal top half of his body. It's more like a big hat. No, why would he wear a big hat? Well, I, I feel like I'd like just someone has a face oh, in his crotch. Oh, I see what you mean. And a face up here. Anyone with two faces at once. Well, you know what it's like when you're walking down the street, you don't like to make eye contact with people. <laughs> You know, in case they make eye contact with you, and then you have to go... ...and try and be like a normal person. Is that what you but you're under a lot of pressure to be normal. I don't want to appear a weirdo. I don't want to appear a weirdo. Just whatever you do, don't say that. Because <laughs> that freaks people the fuck out. <laughs> try not to scare them. <laughs> Try not to scare them! Don't be weird! So yeah, that's Alpha Bear, which is available on the ice ice store. The ice saw. Uh, uh it's a free game. You don't have to pay no money for it. Not if you don't want it. Tap. <laughs>